let all cats old enough gather beneath the high rock for a clan meeting. At the sound of their leader's meeting call, Dim Gaze quickly straightened up, taking a few steps closer and motioning for his apprentice, Pinepaw, to follow. Nightgale Song had a vision from Star Clan, an important one. I suggest you all listen to him. Smokestar's voice was monotone and plain, as if this prophecy didn't concern him much, despite the anxious twitching from the medicine cat standing by his side. Me when I can't see what Smokestar says. Star Clan has sent a vision into my dreams. They warn of a prophecy that ThunderClan will drown in its arrogance. Dim Gaze's nose scrunched up the slightest bit, a slightly irritated expression now present on his face. It was obvious the senior warrior had words to speak, but he held his tongue. Above them, Nightgale Song passed the clan a sympathetic glance. These are your cats to reassure. Smokestar will speak now, ThunderClan. With this being said, watch your words and actions. We will be okay in the end. Man, I'm so optimistic for our future. Dimgaze felt himself grumbling in irritation. It was already a cold leaf bear. This is the least of what they could have needed. What a joy. Ack! What in the name of Star Clan? Rain is a good thing. Come, Pinepaw, let's take cover. Dimgaze slowly stood, passing by the Thunder Clan deputy, Okapileg, as they headed towards cover. You should too. He owed to them. Thank you, Dimgaze. I will. Okapileg shook the water out of their fur and patted off. Dimgaze gave a simple nod before calmly leading his apprentice to a more sheltered area of camp. Dimgaze sat neatly in front of Nightgale Song, staring blankly at him for a moment before glancing away. Go chat amongst the other apprentices, he told Pinepaw. Oh man, socialization. Pinepaw let out a sigh of relief to be undercover from the pouring rain, though not too eager to spend time talking. This prophecy worries me. Have you even had much time to speak with Smokestar about it before announcing it to the clan? They're right behind me, aren't they? Gulps. I haven't. We've been going back and forth, but there's no conclusion aside from a warning. Nightgale Song hummed. Behind them, Smokestar chimed in as he glanced back at the pouring rain. It's a wake-up call, probably. Well, if you two aren't too worried... Dim Gaze trailed off. I am worried. We'll likely try to look out for Star Clan's word again. We're just too prideful and we're thinking of ourselves too heavily. That's it. Dim Gaze quickly peered back at Smokestar, taking note of their words with a flick of his ears. But were they really? Thunder Clan has prospered up until now. He couldn't think of a single warrior in their clan who wasn't humble and selfless. As Smokestar padded away, Dim Gaze glanced back at Nightgale Song yet again. The Tom was silent and deep in thought. Maybe Star Clan is right, but that doesn't count for all of us, Dim Gaze. All we can do is be careful and level headed for the clan. That's what matters. Nightgale passed the dark furred Tom a small smile. Dim Gaze dipped his head in agreement. Whatever it is, Nightgale, I have faith that Thunder Clan will grow and improve through this. Nightgale Song chuckled, a fond look in his eyes. It'll all be all right. I'll see you later. Goodbye, my friend. Dim Gaze gave another curt nod before standing himself. Once he finally looked back over at his apprentice, a small scowl of disappointment formed on his face. Pinepaw turned around to look at his mentor, his face flushing in slight embarrassment. You'll have to converse with your peer someday, Pinepaw. Oh hey, the rain stopped! Pinepaw meowed quickly to change the subject. Dim Gaze's stoic face instantly dropped, although he tried to not show his further disappointment. It has. Would you like to share a mouse? If they aren't too watery from the rain. We'll give them a good shake. Dim Gaze responded with a soft smirk. Mayhaps you lot should stay inside. There might be leftovers in the warrior's den. I'll check for you too. Dim Gaze leapt along the long clearing as swiftly as he could, savoring the feeling of his paws on soft, dry ground once he stepped into the warrior's den. Dear stars, the old Tom cursed as he slowly padded inside, wriggling himself in beside Worm Wriggle. I couldn't imagine this harsh weather would be kind to you, my dear. How are you holding up? I'm holding up well enough. It's cozy back here. 
Once I lose the rest of my fur, I won't have to worry about it sticking to me. Worm Wriggle sniffled. How have you yourself been holding up? Fine. I spoke to Nightgale. He said there isn't much to worry about. Me when I lie. He glanced back down at her. Although I do have an apprentice stuck to my side like a bramble thorn. <laughs> I wish I could help there. But I was a bit of a problem apprentice when I was younger as well. Ah, so I've heard. Dimgaze replied with a teasing smirk. But you've become a wonderful warrior. And I have no doubt that Pine Paw will be as well. She snorted. I have. And I'm certain Pine Paw will too. Dimgaze gave a few relaxed flicks of his tail. It was nice exchanging words with Worm Wriggle. It let him see another outlook on things that were worrying. Thank you for your encouraging words, dear. He'll be a great warrior one day. But if I can't go out and get a mouse for him, he'll starve before he has the chance to. MMM Soggy Mouse. My favorite. The Tom picked out a plump mouse for him and Pine Paw to share. You are a blessing, O Copy Leg. He meowed through the Soggy mouse in his mouth. Is everyone okay? Mel, meows in your ear. Hi, Dim Gaze. If anyone starts coughing, come to my den. I'll be returning soon for Pine Paw, don't worry. I'll get him out of your fur soon. It's alright, I enjoy the company. Nightgale's song chuckled. Maybe it'll have you visiting more. <laughs> Dim Gaze trotted up softly to Pine Paw his steps unnervingly quiet as he approached his apprentice. He dropped the drenched mouse on the ground before him. It made a disgusting splat as it collided with the grass below. Dimgaze put on a neutral face as he addressed the young Tom. You're lucky I spotted you here instead of going all the way back across camp to the medicine den. Saying nothing, Pinepaw got down to eat, silently appreciating the prey that was brought to him. I think going out to hunt is a necessity now, he mumbled. Indeed. I'm sure Okapaleg will assign patrols soon. Although, the camp's better now that the rain has calmed down. Pinepaw mewed in between bites. There's no more vole-sized hail pebbles being aimed at my head. The apprentice's soft, playful tone did nothing to ease Dimgaze's anxieties. I hear most cats are getting sick. He tilted his head back to the warrior's den. If this rain continues every nightfall, the camp will be flooded. Pinepaw's ears pinned back. I've been trying very hard to stay positive in this bad weather. Maybe something to do will get Pinepaw's mind off of all this. After a bit of silence, Dimgaze spoke up. Since the deputy hasn't assigned patrols yet, I'm putting you to work. Finish up, son. The nursery needs changing. Pinepaw gives a hopeful smile. You don't have to talk to any of the queens or kits. Just change out their bedding and make it look pretty. Are you lagging? I think bro is lagging for real for real. N O O O my appendix. G R R R R R enters alpha mode. Dim gaze? Are you okay? I got white cough. Fine, but Blaze Paw doesn't seem to be. I do not feel okay. They have white cough. I'm nearly out of cat mint. His eyes grew sad. I see. Has Okapi Leg sent out patrols yet? Brought some where you want it. Cat mint. Put it on the shelf. Right on time. Dim gaze approached the patrol of warriors. Nightgale, why are you so tall? Tall people should be banned from Thunder Clan. It's a part of his charm. Grr. Rest well, you three. We don't want any more warriors getting sick. Dim gaze grumbled. Let's embark the boat so I'm immune. He registered their words. They were worrying, but they were right. Prey was running out. He should check on Worm Wriggle. Disconnected, but I'm back. I had a feeling you did. I am going to give Pine Paw forced socialization any tips, oh whoa. I'm making him help my apprentice. Dimgaze glanced over at the nearby apprentice, and an idea sparked in his mind. I'm bored. Pollen Paw scoffed. I can fix that. How? Pine Paw has nothing to do either. How about you lessen Nightgale Song's workload by cleaning out the medicine den with him? Sure, I'll go get him. Thank you. You're a dear. Hi, Soggy. Yo. Soggy cats aren't allowed in Surrey. Dimgaze leaned down to give his friend a lap over his ears before standing and padding out. 
Sleep with one eye open tonight, dim gaze. Wow, a threat. Dim gaze approached the small crowd of cats, listening in on Honey Leap and Smokestar's conversation. Was he hearing this right? Did Smokestar just suggest that they fish? Like we need any more warriors coming back to camp dripping ear to paw. Like we need more warriors starving. <laughs> Smokestar, I could count on a paw the amount of warriors in ThunderClan who know how to fish. Dimgaze replied sternly. And? Do you have any better ideas? If you want an old Tom suggestion, I say we should dig up the roots along RiverClan's territory. They're not good to have for every meal but it'll fill up the warrior's belly so we can hunt longer. ThunderClan turns vegan. We'll do that too then. We don't have many options. Like it or not, this is how we're going to tackle the problem. The warrior sat himself beside the balding she-cat, letting out a breath as he felt her presence calm him down. Stars, I need a nap. MMM stick. With how the weather's turned, maybe we should head to the warrior's den. That would be smart. Dim gaze meowed in agreement. Ah, I forgot to tell you. He begun. I convinced Pollen Paw to get Pine Paw to help clean out the medicine den. Oh, that's good. She hummed around the stick. Okay, nappy time. I helped! Dim gaze shifted awake after a few hours, blinking his dull gaze open as he looked down at Wormriggle still snuggled up by his side. The Tom crouched down to press his muzzle gently against Wormriggle's ear one last time before standing and padding out of the nest. I see it was painful for you. He commented in an equally monotone voice. I helped Pollenpaw clean out the medicine den, and I am done. Dim gaze sucked in a deep breath only to let it out slowly. Well, I know how much you disliked it, but I'm proud of you, Pine Paw. When's the last time you took me out to hunt? Clean this den. Clean that den. Dim Gaze stepped closer to place a paw against Pine Paw's right shoulder. It's nothing personal, Pine Paw. He replied dully. You started your apprenticeship during a hard time. Leaf Bear hasn't been nice this season. I know you'll be a fine hunter and fighter, and an even better warrior overall. I know it seems like punishment work, but caring for the clan is top priority. Pinepaw sighed, knowing that his mentor was right, however much he disliked doing these jobs inside the camp. Dimgaze's expression softened ever so slightly as he reached a paw over to Pinepaw again. I'll promise you this. As soon as the storm clears down, I'll take you out to ThunderClan's hunting grounds. First thing. If the storm ever ends. He chuckled, though still a bit worried. But thank you, Dim Gaze. It will, son. Stay positive. Now go rest. You'll be off duties for tomorrow, but it'll still be good to reserve your energy. He nodded, trotting off to the apprentice's den. Dim Gaze watched him leave with a soft grin. Dim Gaze soon turned to catch Wormriggle's eyes, holding her soft gaze. Good night, my dear. We'll speak in the morning. It is morning, never mind. Take care. He purred back at her before exiting the den. Babies. Dimgaze seated himself beside Stormrunner, his sharp eyes fixated on the two kits as they wrestled. Stormrunner chuckled. Reminds me of when I was young. It does, yes? He purred back. Seriously. Aim for the sides. Higher number wins. Mm. No. Me when Rhino Kit. So real. Smoke Kit slipped on the mud, and before he could react, Rhino Kit was already on top of him, pinning him down. No. He growled at his sibling. Warrior Cat Entertainment. Child Wrestling. Lovely job. The senior warrior commented. You both did swell. It's hard to fight in mud like this. I want to be the best hunter Thunder Clan has ever seen. I'll feed the whole clan by myself. Dimgaze crouched down to run a paw along Smoke Kit's back, petting him. Indeed you will, they won't even know what hit them. I'll be back. Storm Runner? Dimgaze called back, confused by his sudden leaving. 
Smoke Kit blinked in surprise. Did I offend them? Everyone, please relocate to the apprentice or warrior's dens. We think these lower dens may flood. Goodness, it's that bad. Dimgaze dipped his head down to pick up Smoke Kit. You heard Okapileg. Dimgaze walked into the warrior's den with a black and white kitten held tight in his jaws. He quickly padded over to Wormriggle before dropping Smoke Kit at her paws. She paused the feather batting to stare at the kit. You'll be staying here for a night or two, isn't that fun? It is. You think I'll be able to wrestle some of the warriors? The kits are staying here now. Has it gotten that bad? It has, Okapaleg's words. She nodded, shuffling over to make some room. Of course, I understand. Thank you, my dear. Dimgaze stood with a soft, slightly pained grunt. I'm going to go check on Pinepaw. I'll return shortly. Dear Starklin, arrange for a burial. Nightgale Song frowned. Stormrunner nodded, then choked out another sob. What is this I'm hearing? A burial? It's Pale Feather. I found him cold in his nest. Dimgaze's face instantly dropped. I knew they weren't doing well. I didn't know it was that bad, though. We can mourn later, Stormrunner. Let's make sure no cat else loses their life to this. Another threat? They've already killed a kit. I won't run from those cowards. Razor Whisker growls, glaring up at the sky. Ooh. Dude, I thought you died. Hey, King, what did I miss? We were planning your funeral. Serious? Didn't you die? Dim Gaze stared blankly at Razor Whisker as he waited for Okapaleg to reason with the old Tom. Hmm, I'm too old for this. He grumbles. You'll be fine. Dim Gaze held back, an annoyed scoff as he slipped to the Elder's side. Relieved, Okapileg sighed and crouched down, allowing Razor Whisker to rest half of his weight on them as well. This is part of the role play where my words start making no sense. Dim Gaze struggled up the steep slope, grunting as his front paws slipped against the wet stones. Okapilep grunted as they helped support Dim Gaze's weight, soon pulling the three of them up the slippery cliff. What would the clan do without you, Okapileg? He thanked them. Hold it. Razor Whisker gives Okapileg a sniff. Me when I sniff you. Me when getting sniffed. Oh my god, me when I load. You. Hurry this up, Razor Whisker. You'll cause us to drown if you don't. Go get the medicine cat, Dimgaze. He mutters. Dimgaze hesitated at first, wanting to ask why. I will. Dim Gaze slipped down the cliff of wet rocks, grunting as he landed hard on his shoulder blade. Smokestar quickly rushed to help him. Let's get you back up. I'm fine, Smokestar. I'm all right. He quickly tried to dismiss the leader. All right, you do you. The herbs are destroyed. W what? Dim Gaze gasped sharply. Gone? Destroyed? All of them? The wind must have knocked them off the shelves and into the water. Well, safe to say we're doomed. What a positive influence you are, Smokestar. Let me put you in my situation. Uh-oh. I've had a kit, a few warriors and apprentices die. We have no food. My camp is flooding. Sarcasm is all I got right now. Aye. We've gotta go. Get your tails out here now! We can't have the most important cats drown! Yes. What good would it do if they died here? Dimgaze returned his thin pelt dripping with rainwater as he stepped into the crowded den. Guys, it's okay, let's all just get a straw and drink all the water up. Guys, what if there's a mudslide that traps all the exits? We drink the mud, come on, use your solving skills. What if we sacrifice Smoke Star to the gods as appeasement? Smart. Are all the kits here? Dimgaze called out. Pinepaw, I'm glad you're safe. He sighed to his young apprentice. Uh oh, Browski, where is Smoke Star? I'll go back and check for Nightgale Song. We can't lose our medicine cat. Let's get to the abandoned two leg nest. <laughs> dry. Dimgaze liked dry. We're missing a lot. He meowed to himself. 
I think I'm dehydrated. Thanks for bringing the snack star of smoke. He snatched the can. Bruh. Hey! Kits and queens first. Doesn't mean they can eat it all. It's in the code that they eat first. I'm saying we ration you, mouse brain. You think they'd eat it all? Think. Yes. Good riddance. I can't with you. Drama in Wario Cats. Pope Pop. Embraces. They went to me in our super secret chat and asked me to kill you or not. So I said. They all die. I did indeed say kill these people.